something I'd wish I'd known before I started my PhD was uh, is how important a supervisor is. A supervisor can really make or break your project in terms of how the project is led, the support you receive. I think that's really important and something to really take into consideration when you're choosing a PhD. Another thing I wish I'd known and I learned the hard way uh, was that my self-worth isn't measured by my academic success. Um, it's okay to make mistakes. I am so much more than my work. They are not go hand in hand. Um, and I do not require and I should not work exclusively towards external validation. I think that's extremely important and something that I think overachieving and ambitious students often don't don't know or they and they understand it rationally, but then it doesn't really seep in seep into you. And yeah. Absolutely, it's okay to make mistakes. Um, everyone in the lab will have their own horror stories. You just have to take it in stride and learn from it. I'm really proud. I'm really proud of, of the person that I've become. Um, I've become more confident. I've become more responsible. I've become more independent. And I've also become gentler with myself, uh, as in exacting less from myself and treating myself as I would treat my very best friends. The advice I would give a new PhD student would be to firstly, take care of yourself. And this can take many shapes. Um, you need to create, you need to create a healthy work-life balance. And that means that you need reasons to leave the lab. For example, hobbies, people like friends to hang out with. You need to leave the lab and you need to leave your work in the lab. Don't take it home with you. And you're allowed not to think of work. It's okay. Your PhD is not your whole life. Um, and another way of taking care of yourself is to be aware of all the support that the college can offer in the terms of mental health as well. And, and talking to fellow PhD students that understand perfectly what you're going through. There's no need to, to struggle alone. And I think that's really important. Mm, another, another piece of advice would be to be organized. This is more practical. Be organized if there's a big task that you've been asked to do, break it down into smaller tasks, allocate time to them so they can have everything done by a certain deadline. And this is something that takes practice, being organized, time management but it's something that you should uh, try implementing straight on. And also the last bit of advice would be to use a PhD to learn more about yourself. Yes, you're gonna carry out this project, but also try taking part in different activities that let you understand what you like. So when you leave your PhD, when you finish it, you complete it, then you have something to look forward to careers-wise, life-wise be part of committees, be part of uh, student supervision, do some outreach activities. It's all, you might not like it, but it's worth a try. This is a time to learn. My PhD is in immunology and it deals with basic research into understanding how our body reacts to vaccination. And uh, I chose this PhD project this, uh, this area to work in because I recently finished my master's project which was also in vaccinology, designing, producing, and then testing a vaccine. But this, this had real translational value and it was very exciting, but it was about applying uh, what we created. Does it work? Does it not work? Whereas I wanted to go a, a step back and understand really how does it work? How do these cells interact? So, it was just another, it was more exploring the greater area that I had, that I, that I dived into beforehand. I really like the laser focus I get when I know what I'm doing, I'm in control, I'm in the lab and my hands are just working away. It's, it's, 
it's really satisfying that feeling of just absolute uh, focus on the work on something that really interests you. And then I like the balance between my independent work, me working alone, but also being able to talk to colleagues and troubleshoot together. That's really satisfying, being able to be there for other people, but also being able to rely on them for things that you're struggling with. And then another great moment in the, in the lab is, um, is the very, very brief, very rare moment of when an experiment actually works. And then you think it's all worth it. <laughs>